So this week I'm partnering with Lark to share some of my favorite kitchen gadgets and essentials. I think I really bring a unique spin to this because a lot of the items I'm going to be sharing today I've had for several years, if not coming up on a decade. So without any further ado, these are some of my most used and essential pieces of kitchen gear. Starting off, we have my Breville toaster oven. Now, I checked around before making this and I couldn't find the exact model anymore. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued, but I'm gonna be sharing whatever the closest current model I can find is. Um, I actually got this back in 2015 as a wedding gift and it has been used on a daily basis for the last six, coming on seven years now. If you've never used a toaster oven or think it would just be a waste of counter space, I would beg you to reconsider. For my wife and I, the toaster oven is probably what we cook most all of our food in. You know, we don't go out to eat too often. We usually cook most all of our food from scratch and the toaster oven is so amazing because it is essentially just a really small oven. Outside of the energy reduction benefits, it's actually a lot more practical and enjoyable. You know, because it's so small, it preheats a lot faster than a regular oven would. And not only does it work as an oven, but it obviously works as a toaster and a convection oven, which is essentially an air fryer as well. So you have several pieces of equipment all rolled into one. It might not be as relevant for those of you that have big families or kids, but my wife and I, you know, most everything that we cook fits inside of the toaster oven. We find ourselves only using our regular full oven maybe two or three times in an entire year. As you can see from the video clips, ours has seen a little bit better days. It's uh, definitely used and abused. We use it every single day for going on seven years now and um, that thing is just absolutely amazing. You know, Breville generally makes pretty good, high quality stuff, but even outside of this specific model, I would highly recommend you check into toaster ovens. You, know, you can replace a convection oven, regular oven, air fryer, toaster. It does so many things and is so much more energy efficient. It is an essential piece in our home kitchen. Next up, I want to share a newer item of mine and the sponsor of today's video, and that is the Lark Pitcher Pure Viz. The Lark Pitcher uses the same proprietary UVC technology that the Lark bottles have, but it also has a physical filter as well. So what that means, you get some of the cleanest and safest drinking water you could possibly drink, but it's also so delicious. Portland is notorious for having really great drinking water. I was so pleasantly surprised to see that the water actually tastes even better filtering it through the Lark pitcher compared to just straight out of the tap. On top of the great filtering and the great taste, they do also have an app that pairs with it, you know, with some smart technology. So you can actually track the life and the health of your filter. You can track the battery life, so it'll let you know if you need to recharge the UVC battery inside. It can also actually track your drinking habits as well. So it'll measure how much water is being filtered out. So it'll measure how much water you're drinking on a daily basis. This is really great for someone that might be struggling to get enough water into their normal day to day. But for me, who already drinks a ton of water, it's just fun to see the stats. I'm a big stat guy. It also comes in really handy if you're someone that's really advanced into, you know, things like tea and coffee. You know, having quality water is a huge component to having good tasting coffee and good tasting tea that's often overlooked. Or if you're someone like me that um, also makes a lot of cocktails at home and I actually make big bricks of ice and hand cut big ice blocks. Um, having filtered water just makes the ice taste a lot better for drinks as well. So really good to stay hydrated, but also can be really good if you're an aficionado of cocktails or coffee or tea. So I want to give a huge thanks to Lark for sponsoring today's video. And if you are in need of a new pitcher, I would highly suggest you check this one out. It is the best I've ever used by far. And be sure to check the link in the description if you want to learn more or leave me a comment if you have any questions. Next up, we have my oldest item on the essentials list, but luckily it is still available and for sale if anyone needs it. And that is my Cuisinart temperature controlled kettle. I think it's called the CP17. It's a 1.7 liter kettle that has full temperature controls ranging from 160 degrees Fahrenheit to boiling. I've been a huge fan of craft coffee and tea for quite some time now. I actually bought this kettle back in 2013. I really wanted something with temperature controls. And a little fun fact side note here, I used to work in a call center and I actually had this full size kettle in my cubicle so I could make coffee. I had my AeroPress and I had loose 
loose leaf tea at my desk so I can make all of my fancy beverages at my cubicle while I was getting yelled at by customer service people. Like I mentioned in the last segment about the pitcher and the need for purified water, another step to quality coffee and tea is having control over the temperature of your water. This thing has been used daily for coming up on a decade now and is still working perfectly well like it did on day one. To be honest, I don't love the looks of it and I do wish it had a gooseneck for doing pour over coffee. But outside of those two gripes, um, this thing works perfectly and I have no reason to get rid of it. So at this point, I just kind of want to see how many more years it's going to keep going before it dies or fails. Like you all know, I try and aim for that buy it for life mentality and this thing, yeah, almost 10 years now and is still working perfectly. So if you need a temperature controlled kettle and don't really care about the gooseneck, this thing has been absolutely great for me. Next up, we have the classic Chemex. I got this thing about two years ago now, and it has been my daily morning coffee maker ever since, and I absolutely love it. One of the best things about the Chemex is it's such a highly regarded, long-running favorite for making quality coffee, but it's also a beautiful piece of coffee equipment to keep on your counter, and it's extremely inexpensive for what you get. It's simple and has no moving parts, so there's not a lot of risk of failure besides actually breaking the glass. I'm not sure how easy that would be to do. Um, mine has been you know, spilled and dropped around a few times without any issues, but the Chemex coffee is absolutely excellent. I'm a big fan of the AeroPress as well, but it's only you know a single serve, single cup. I like to have a few cups of coffee every morning, so it's a great way to have you know a big portion of coffee and still have it taste really great like the AeroPress. But even if you're not a big coffee person, it is a great way to kind of slow down your morning and get in, you know, some kind of active meditation. That's what I always like to do when I make my coffee. You know, that slow pouring is just a really nice meditative practice for my mornings. Kind of starts me off on the right foot. So if you've never tried it, check out the Chemex. They're inexpensive. They last a long time. I would highly recommend it. The old saying of if it ain't broke, don't fix it definitely reigns true for cast iron pans. You know, I am a huge fan of cast iron pans. They've been around for hundreds of years and still continue to be popular and continue to be used even as technology and kitchen gadgets advance. Cast iron is great. It's inexpensive and it cooks better than a lot of other pans. It can be an amazing alternative if you're looking to avoid nonstick pans with all the PFAs and chemicals that can leach into your food. It's extremely versatile. You can use it on the stovetop. You can use it inside of the oven. My wife and I have made everything from you know pizza to steaks to cinnamon rolls. You can cook just about anything in a cast iron pan. And again, if you're looking to kind of slow down that process and introduce some you know meditative practices into your kitchen, you know, maintaining cast iron pans is really simple, but it can take a little bit more time than a traditional pan since it can't really go in the dishwasher or things like that. I have two cast irons, an eight inch and a 12 inch, both from the lot. Uh, they're extremely inexpensive compared to some of the premium brands. Cast iron is the ultimate buy for life item for the kitchen. So if you're into that idea and into that movement, looking to save some money and save some waste on replacing pans year after year after year, check out a cast iron pan. They're amazing. You can pass it on to your grandkids. Your grandkids can take care of it, pass it on to their grandkids. It's something that is built to last a lifetime. And on top of that, it does a better job than most pans that I've ever used. That's going to wrap it up for my essentials, though. A bit of an eclectic list, but hopefully you all can appreciate it. A lot of the stuff I've had for years, so it might not look the prettiest. It might not be the best and the greatest, but it has stood the test of time. Now, I'd love to hear if you have any recommendations or items that you can't live without in your kitchen. Let's get that discussion going down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.